There, that's where I want it. Don't know if it'll do anything, but we're gonna see. Yeah, something's messing with it. It, how, it won't pull it all the way. It drug it a little bit. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but I don't use it. Oh, I don't know what that was. Probably a big fat shell cracker or sunfish or bluegill or something. But anyway, I'm gonna, um, I don't use a bobber generally, and right now I'm trying not to even use a weight, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the thing as natural as possible. Um, and I'm trying to keep from getting hung up. So, um, I don't want any weight on it, just the weight of the hook, because I don't want to drop it down in all that mess. I got something going after it. Gotcha. Nice. Nice little bluegill or sunfish or some type of little sunfish, yeah. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bluegill. Hello, my friend. I watch them back spines. And this is a uh, little two aught. I believe it's a drop shot hook, if I'm not mistaken. But behave fine. I see how you are. Now you got stuck. And you want me to help you, don't you? Well, I'm perfectly happy to do that. Absolutely. There you go. Maybe you... Look, if you go just a little bit further, you can get out. Why don't we do that? Is he gone? Did he go? He did. Good deal. We don't want to kill nothing. We don't even want to keep nothing. All I want to do is catch them and if you look i'm not using very much of a worm uh, you don't need it um you don't have to put a brand new worm on there every, every time you get bit it doesn't it's not required Look here. I don't know if you can see him or not. Look there. Beautiful. And he's fishing. He's down quite a bit. He's taking quite a while. Gotcha. Beautiful, beautiful fish. These fish are absolutely gorgeous. That right there all right i don't want to get stuck by you and i don't want to hurt you be still be still you are caught and on my hook i can let you go but you got to be still look here gorgeous gorgeous bluegill look at that you can't move and trying to get where you can see. Just beautiful.
there's like three flipping bass here. I don't know if you can see them, but they're scoping the bank, but they are not. They won't eat anything, I know, because I've tried and tried and tried. But, uh, Gotcha. That's nice for a little bluegill. Of course, I got beautiful little bluegill. I've got uh, my drag set fairly light. Not as light as I normally do with these little gills, but fairly light. how pretty he is. Okay, fine. Let's try one more that way, and we will. Oh, yeah, that looks like that might be no, it's a bluegill or sunfish or some bluegill. Lovely. Hello there. You are beautiful. That. Look how gorgeous that fish is. Look at that fish. Come on, why wouldn't you want to interact with that, that? That beauty. Bluegill running on her things for an inch long. <laughs> Don't want you right now. Grow up. I'll be glad to get you then.
on before we take it. Yeah, that's a little bitty sucker. <coughs> Maybe not. Cute little bluegill, not quite big enough to keep. That's all right. We're not keeping today. If I, I might at some point, but for right now, yeah, he's trying to. I don't blame him either. He's trying to poke me. Go on with it. Go on with your bad self. Beautiful. Let's get this out of the way and have a look at Take it. I don't know what these fellas think they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Shouldn't have bit. Ain't you gorgeous, though. For such a little fella. <coughs> there was some kind of pollen that's really active right now that's just tearing my whole family we are coughing like crazy right now and a lot of times in the mornings and in the evenings Yeah, he was doing like real light and uh, acting like he didn't really want it. But I could tell he was still on the line. Nice fat. Come to me. Fat bluegill. And he's actually swallowed that puppy pretty good. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to cut him off. But let me see. Yeah, we're going to just go ahead and cut him. There is no reason for me to try to... jerk this out of his mouth. Let me see if I can un... Yeah, no, he went for it. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut that line off as close as we can. The hook, most likely, will rust away in his mouth, his or her mouth, and that fish should be okay. Sometimes you will hook a fish like that, he'll swallow the thing. It's 
a, a side of fishing that's not tasteful, very tasteful. I don't like it when it happens, but hopefully it is, uh, hopefully he will survive. If you have some compassion and don't try to sink that hook, try to rip that hook out of him, but just, just cut it and let him go. Just cut it and let him go. And maybe, just maybe, he'll... At least he's got a chance then. But if you go to rip it, if it's down in his guts, and you go to ripping that, it's a bad thing. Don't do that. Yeah, I know. Y'all are going to do what you want. I understand. But for me, I just prefer not to if I can help it. There's a big old fish right there. Yeah, he ran toward me, and I thought I had missed him. Lovely. Beautiful. Nice and thick. Chunky. Chunky. All right, big boy. Oh, sorry thing. He's got me good with his fin. Go on, you're in the water. That's good enough. He got me good. Those back spines are like flipping spikes. They don't play. Go on ahead, big boy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, blue girl. Look at that. Well, I've been out here most of the day since about one. It's right around six o'clock now. And I've had a wonderful time out here slamming bluegill. A lot of them were in their spawning colors and they were just gorgeous. I hope that that shows up on the video. I got down here in this little corner here and they are not spawning here. Uh, and then that's common. Uh, all fish of one species don't spawn at the same time. But anyway, just a beautiful day. Wasn't that hot. Had a fantastic time. Uh, bless you. Thanks for coming along. I'll talk to you later.